Welcome to Fireflies. Now that you've signed up, we're going to show you some of the core features that you can start using. Right now, we're on the welcome screen. In this screen, you'll see a feed where all of your past meetings with quick little digests are shown here that you can scroll through. We also have on the top right my join and share settings. Here, I can pick which meetings Fireflies should automatically join or should not join, and then who those meetings should be shared with or not shared with. Usually I have it set so that it joins all the meetings on my calendar and it shares it with all the participants that were in that meeting. If I wanted to, I can also scroll down and look at my upcoming meetings and toggle on if I want Fireflies to join it or toggle off if I don't want it to join it. And I can also pick the language of those meetings. In case I'm about to have a meeting in another language, I can go and click that before the meeting and then Fireflies will transcribe and summarize it in the right language. We also have the global language settings here. So if you want all of your meetings by default transcribed and captured in a particular language, you can change it. By default, it'll be English. If I wanna add Fireflies to a live meeting that I forgot to invite it to, I can use add to live meeting, put in the meeting URL, and then hit start capturing. Usually, if you have Fireflies connected, we recommend you just having the auto join settings so that it'll just join your meetings and you have to constantly remember to invite it to the meetings. That's my preferred settings. We talked about the feed. This is a magical capability here, it's tasks. So all the meetings that have action items will automatically get generated into tasks and they will be auto assigned. And per meeting, you'll see what are the things that need to be completed. I can mark these as complete, I can reassign it to someone else, and I can add new tasks if I want. It's a lightweight task management tool right within Firefly so that you can know exactly what needs to be completed after meetings. Contacts is like a lightweight CRM that shows all the people you've been talking to across all of your different meetings, whether that's within your company or external customers or candidates. And when you click in, you'll see a quick bio about the person you're about to meet and all the past meetings you had with that person. So it helps me stay on top of my relationships and know what was discussed. All right, let's go back to the home screen here. One feature that you will use consistently is the search feature. So if I want to search across all of my meetings, I can do that. We were talking about insights. I can quickly search for that and it'll show me all the different places where insights were being talked about across all my meetings. Typically, a meeting will be processed within five to 10 minutes at the latest. You can check the status of your recent meeting in the meeting status page and it will tell you if it was completed or if Fireflies was not let into the meeting for any reason. That information will be here. And after a meeting is complete, you will get an email indicating that, hey, your meeting recap is ready and then you can click into it. You can also go to the notebook section by clicking on the meetings tab and then you can jump right into the meeting. Let's go click into one of the meetings. And this is the notes for the meeting right in the center. The summaries are very comprehensive. You'll have the overview, uh, you'll have shorthand notes with bullet points and timestamps, and you'll also have action items that are very detailed. And it makes every meeting like really clear and really concise. I can also see the video for the meeting. If you're on the business tier, you can enable video and also have the video captured from the meeting. On the right hand side is the transcript. The speakers are identified. There will be timestamps. I can click on any part of the meeting and listen to that part of the call. I can play the meeting back at 2x speed if I wanted to. I can download the meeting, transcript, the summary, the video or the audio in many different formats. I can search across the meeting as well really quickly and where we talk about hiring and I can just click on that part and jump to that part of uh, that meeting. One of my favorite features is focus mode. So I can quickly just focus on the notes if I wanted to, or let's get out and I can get into focus mode for the transcript. So I can hide everything and just focus on reading the transcript, reading the notes, uh, etc. Now, if I want to search across this meeting in an even faster way, instead of just searching across the transcript, I can use a smart search filter on the left hand side here. For example, if I click dates, it'll quickly show me all the dates that were discussed. If we if I click on questions, it'll show me all the questions that were asked on the meeting. Uh, pricing, it'll show me all the places where pricing was discussed. I can also see where the sentiment was positive or negative on the meeting. And I can filter to who talked on the meeting and how much did they talk on the meeting using the speaker talk time option right here. Another thing you can do is you can set your own topic trackers. 
For example, I had a topic tracker for integrations and it'll show me where those things were set up. To do that, I would just go here and it will take me to the topic trackers page and I can set up different topic trackers that I wanna track. Another super powerful capability is Ask Fred. So if I don't wanna to listen to the entire meeting or read the transcript or the summaries, I can just ask Fred questions about the meetings. Like, like, hey, what were the challenges discussed? And it will go through the entire meeting and give me a short, concise, comprehensive answer. It's like having a teammate that pays attention and you can just ask the teammate instead of having to go back and review the entire meeting. Let's say you have a part of a call that was really interesting and you wanna share it with some of your teammates. You can just highlight that snippet of text and then create a soundbite. And that soundbite will be created and I can control who, it can, who can see that soundbite. And then I would just go share that URL with uh, my teammates or my customers and they can just see that 30 second clip instead of having to review the entire meeting. Another thing we have is comments. So as I'm going through the meeting and I'm at a particular part of the meeting, uh, let's say at 26 minutes in, I wanna leave a comment saying, review this again, and it'll leave a comment. So I can just go back and jump to that timestamp next time I review the comments. It's a great way for your team to collaborate back and forth on what's going on in the meeting. And then we also have bookmarks. So as you're listening back to a meeting, you can mark something as good or something as bad, and you can mark something as an action item. You can mark something as important. And then all of those will be quickly flagged for you. You can also control the privacy of a meeting here. Similar to Google Docs, you can control who can see the meetings by default. So this is the notepad. This is where all the magic happens. We went through the notebook. And you can also organize your meetings into private or public channels, similar to Slack. So if you wanna have certain meetings that are private and only seen by certain people, there's other capabilities. We don't have to go into super detail, but we, if you wanted to, you can upload audio files uh, to meetings. You can also see the playlist of all your past sound bites. You can turn on integration. So you can send all of your meeting notes automatically log to Salesforce or HubSpot or other CRMs, or have it sent to Slack to a particular channel or have it sent to Google Docs or Dropbox. Integrations, Fireflies has so many of them, and it's one of the most integrated AI note takers on the market, and we highly encourage our customers to turn on integrations. We have also have apps. If you wanna extract things beyond notes from meetings, for example, I wanna pull out objections from a meeting, I just turn this app on, and after every meeting, it'll pull out objections, and I can quickly see that um, in the notes section below, there'll be a new category, created called objections, that's where I'll see my AI apps. We also have analytics, so you can see how your team is performing, how your customers are performing, what questions are being brought up in those meetings, to give you a bird's eye view of what's going on across your team's conversations, across your sales conversations. Now, to add more people to Fireflies, you go to Teams and then you invite your coworkers and then their meeting recaps get saved into the workspace as well. And you have settings here where you can control all of your individual settings, as well as if you're an admin, the team settings. And that's pretty much it. We went through most of the core capabilities of Fireflies. And uh, hopefully this will help you get started and become a power user.